Vice President Kamala Harris just entered the record books. Harris, who will be in office for at least another 12 months, has already broken John C. Calhoun's record for tie-breaking votes in the Senate. The history-making vote was 51-50 to advance President Joe Biden's nominee, Loren Alikan, to be a U.S. District Judge for the District of Columbia. Senator Joe Manchin voted no on Biden's nominee, joining with all Republicans, which set the stage for Harris's decisive vote. Calhoun's record of 31 tiebreakers stood for nearly 200 years, as his term as vice president ran from 1825 to 1832. Harris raced to match and then exceed his tally, thanks to a 50-50 Senate during her first two years in office, followed by one that is technically 51-49 in the Democrats' favor, but has been hampered by absences and defections. Vice presidents, as the president of the Senate, cast tie-breaking votes when the upper chamber is deadlocked, though it's fairly rare occurrence that has happened less than 300 times since the nation's founding. Joe Biden, for example, never cast a tiebreaker during his vice presidency.